Hey everybody, Jason Holland with Cash and Rods. I am here with Mr. Jamie the Hammer Hartman. We're talking about the brand new John Cruz swim jig rod. Super pumped up about it. So tell us about the swim jig rod, your first initial thoughts about it. Give us your thoughts. Well, so far so good. So we're looking at a 7.3 medium heavy, uh, specifically designed for swim jig. And you can run fluorocarbon with it, run it up to about 50, 50 I'd say 50 pound braid. Um, but it's got enough. It's got a, quite a bit of backbone for your fluorocarbon. But yet it's it's a uh, par more parabolic towards the upper half when you run your braid. So I think this is going to work excellent. Yeah, it's really good. Hey, can you explain this a little bit more, real quick, about the floral and the braid piece? I think that our viewers would really understand, like to hear and understand why you say that, what that means, and really how that will translate how they're what they're going to fish where they're at. Yeah, two different styles running fluorocarbon. And running braid. Running braid, you're, you're mostly going to be around grass, wood, but when you're running a swim jig, it's mostly around grass. So you got to have enough power to get them out, but you don't want to overpower with braid because you'll rip the hook out. Okay, so, and then when you run fluorocarbon, the swim jig bite a lot of times is more not so in open water, but maybe submerged grass, and you want that rod to load up is what it is. It's just like a swim jig or a, a swim bait bite, same on a swim jig. You know, you're rolling it and you feel that tick and you kind of just keep going and you lean into it. That's your best way to get it so they engulf it. But with the braid, it's like an instantaneous thing. It's humming through the grass, you know, and they grab it. And you don't want to get, you, a lot of guys get overexcited. I, oh, I'm, I'm guilty. I can do it too. So when you see them visually strike that swim jig, you don't want too much uh, backbone to it, or you you know you're gonna pull it away, right. or you're gonna rip the hook out of the fish mouth. So that's basically the two different styles. Gotcha. So being a mod fast, Jamie's point is gonna give you the backbone, but you're gonna have that more parabolic bend down into the blank. So no matter if you're throwing throwing fluorocarbon or if you're throwing braid, no matter the scenario, rod's gonna do great. Uh, John actually talked about uh, maybe even using that for a buzz bait. So, absolutely. So that's those, one of the first things when I put it in my hand. I yeah. Thought, this will run a buzz made up for Yeah, absolutely. So it's really cool about it. Again, a lot of catching rods, even though that's designed directly for the swim jig, still has all the other purposes and multi-purposes that it can be used for. So yeah, don't be afraid to throw your buzz baits on it as well. Yes, sir. Awesome. Get it out the door. Let's do it.